My name is Chris Kelly, and allow me to thank you so much for your interest in Core Restore. Uh, this presentation is going to take you through the steps for our Core Restore Challenge, uh, kind of tell you a little bit more about our program and how you could be most successful with the least amount of effort, which I know everybody is interested in. So when we look at who does this program benefit, uh, you know, Core Restore is originally created for moms to prevent things like uh, rectus diastasis, uh, C-section, to eliminate the factors which really cause these things. But by the same token, what we found is it is the most powerful program that we have ever experienced or ever tested to flatten a stomach, um, to eliminate back pain, and all of these things re really are associated. So when we think of, um, you know, who does this program benefit? You know, first and foremost, moms either preparing for pregnancy or those who are pregnant, but also moms simply seeking to get their stomach back, um, athletes seeking to move better, or anyone who wants a flat or um, a flat midsection versus a bulky one. You know, one of the features of the program is that we train the muscles that specifically flatten the stomach, you know, as opposed to making it bulkier, which abdominal exercises can definitely do. So this can truly be seen as the secret to uh, getting a smaller waistline as well. So a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Chris Kelly, and uh, again, I am the creator of this program. I have been a trainer for over 12 years. Um, I've worked with over 5,000 women, along with you know celebrity clients, as you can see, and I have a bunch of letters by my name. But really, for me, I mean, I, I have fallen in love with this topic. Um, I love core training, um, particularly for um, women, because they have so many different challenges, you know, than my sex. And uh, you know, the truth is, if you know, if you're a woman uh, watching this presentation, it's funny we joke that you know you always see that your husband, you know, does nothing and he loses 12 pounds, whereas it's so difficult for you to do and, and the, the thing that you'll find with our program is that there are factors that predispose um, the female body to making it a little bit harder but the beauty of it is this program specifically addresses those factors and really um, I've you know I've really spent a very long time um, researching this and actually putting out educational products you know on the topic of getting a flatter stomach as well as preventing things like c-sections and rectus diastasis so this um, program is really the culmination of about probably seven years of uh, work on my part and I'm really proud um, to offer it to you today. And so in order to really appreciate what we're doing with this program, you have to understand, uh, you know, why we lose our abs in the first place. And I'm not going to go into a whole spiel on this. You know, I have a whole seminar on it. But um, really when we look at some factors that predispose us to not having a flat stomach, as well as developing things like rectus diastasis, C-sections, and, um, you know, back pain, shoulder pain, neck pain, we see this sort of de-evolution of a human being where, you know, in this case, obesity is causing this individual here on the bottom um, to come into what we call an anterior pelvic tilt, where um, rather than having a flat back, there's a big arch in his back, where whereas his stomach sticks out. And really this, um, you know, in most people due to posture, this has really nothing to do with the level of body fat, but just the, the things that we do on a daily basis, such as sit, you know, such as wear heels, and such as, you know, in the case of, uh, you know, many women crossing our legs, um, you know, all of these things that we do for long periods of time are what we call repetitive positions that force our body into a certain place, you know, and, and as a result, we're more predisposed to be in certain ways. And, uh, you know, for those trying to get a flat stomach, the what we call anterior pelvic tilt, you know, as you can see with this larger individual here on the right, is the exact opposite of what we want. And so one of the big Pro, one of the big goals of our program is to get the body back into alignment to be able to do it. But now I'm just going to talk a little bit about you know the benefits of our program and kind of how we're going to do this. And so really the problem with traditional core training is that when we're not in this neutral pelvic position, you know, when, when our back is arched um, or slouched or whatever, we're not nice and straight, as you can see with this person here on the right, we don't have the ability for the muscles of the core to move up and down and to work properly. And so instead we um, end up working other things such as the hip flexors, um, such as the muscles of the quads or whatever. And as a result, you know, I, I call it, um, you know, no butt syndrome as well, because not only um, do, do the abs get weak, but the butt also actually and doesn't get strong and so we end up getting all of these issues like anxiety uh, lower energy levels you know even tendonitis a lot of this because you know our diaphragm is connected to our core so we can't breathe properly and so what we want to do 
is develop this um, flat back position first, you know, in order to get us into the right position to strengthen. And that is going to really culminate all of these benefits here that we see on the right simply, simply by a few changes that we make. You know, and you'll notice the other, the other thing that uh, we have here on the right is that she looks like she has a flatter stomach because everything is lined up. So really from an aesthetic perspective, that's going to be a game changer as well. So the first step in our program is to establish what we call neutral pelvis, all right, where we have this individual here on the left where the, um, where the chest is lined up right over the hips of the pelvis as opposed to this big arch um, that we see on the right here, all right. We use specific postural and core exercises um, to really get the body back into alignment. Uh, if we're dealing with a pregnant woman, um, you know, this is also one of the primary contributors to rectus diastasis. And rectus diastasis, for those that aren't familiar with it, splitting down the middle, the abs, literally splitting down the middle. Um, this position creates sort of like a shearing force on the abs. And I kind of like liken it to like ripping open a, um, you know, a present on Christmas Day. It kind of puts our abs in a stretched position where, you know, when we're walking around, it's like slowly ripping us, literally ripping us apart. So one of the primary goals particularly with our pregnant clients is to get the body back into what we call this neutral pelvic position so we lessen the shearing force on the stomach um, it's also going to be really the key to getting the abdominal wall or the you know the abs back into the right position to strengthen the next step that we want to do is really use foam rolling and self self massage work to optimize the flexibility and the density or the muscle kind of the pliability of the muscles around the pelvis. Um, when we're talking about a you know pregnant woman, you know we really want to optimize the mobility of the muscles around the birthing space to prevent ripping and tearing. Okay, that is absolutely crucial. But then when we're just talking about eliminating back pain or getting a flat stomach as well, we want the hips to be as mobile as possible so the back doesn't do work instead. And that's what often happens is instead of moving from our hips, we end up using our low back. And that's off. That's also why you know, we start to get this big arch in our back that we see. So this is also going to be an important part of our program, just simple self-massage drills uh, that, you know, take about five minutes. You know, it's not a long period of time, but these two things go together. I kind of liken it to like, you know, we want to uh, put WD-40 in some places, so we want to kind of oil the hips, and then we want to put duct tape in some places where we use core training to stiffen the core up and to make those muscles stronger um, and increase muscle tone. The next step for us is to strengthen the deep core muscles. All right, when we say the deep core muscles, you have this muscle um, that wraps around your spine like a weight belt called the transverse abdominis. Um, the transverse abdominis can really be seen as the key to getting a flat stomach uh, because when we breathe properly and we use our abs during breathing, um, you can see here she's blowing up a balloon that engages the transverse, transverse abdominis. And the beauty of, of the TVA is that one of its uh, one of its functions is abdominal compression, meaning it it flattens around the waistline, literally making the waistline smaller. So this truly is the money uh, the money muscle that we want to train. I mean, certainly you know we're going to train all the other ab muscles together as well, but this one is our first priority because this one is going to do what we want as far as number one protecting us from back pain, um, not allowing uh, again this idea of rectus diastasis to happen, um, and then literally. Uh, flattening our stomach and making our waistline smaller and that really is amazing and that has nothing to do you know with body fat per se the next step for us is probably the most important it's eliminating sources of inflammation throughout the body and for a lot of people who are trying to get a flat stomach but find that you know okay I have uh, water around my waistline or no matter what I do I just tend to bloat Oftentimes that's going to be due to inflammation, all right, and it's literally, you know, inflammation from the outside or the inside out because for a lot of people who have, you know, slight food allergies to things like soy, um, dairy, just common food additives that are in processed things that we eat, our stomach is in a constant state um, of slight inflammation and what ends up happening is when the body's inflamed, um, it shuts down the stomach muscles. So not only can I not strengthen my abs, but I can't digest. Um, you know, I, I oftentimes experience constipation, you know, and if any of these uh, problems sound familiar, uh, it, it's, there's a good chance that you, you might have, you know, some sort of a slight food allergy. And so 
one of the big tenets of our program is to eliminate a lot of the inflammatory sources of food, um, you know, such as soy, such as certain dairy products, um, to allow us to strengthen well. So we're not putting you on a diet where we're restricting calories, but what we are doing is cutting out certain foods that might be causing your body to um, hold on to weight because you're not going to drop weight um, when your body feels like it's under threat. So really we're kind of resetting the switch and you know I've really seen people achieve miraculous things um, simply by doing stuff to get their body healthy so that's gonna be um, an important part of our program and finally we're gonna train the abs isometrically uh, to develop abdominal tone okay so when I said you know that we want to train the TVA the transdominus to flatten our stomach you know we also want to tie in our other ab muscles with that but the goal the really the main function of the abs in daily life is not to um, move our trunk like we see in sit-ups and crunches and different things like that. It's actually to stabilize against movement. Um, when we're holding in a plank here and you see that I'm moving my arms and my legs, um, this is a really important part of the program because doing this type of training is going to develop muscle tone um, without developing muscle bulk, which is huge. I, I see one of the big errors that I see um, with people doing core training is doing exercises like crunches and side bends. When we actually move our trunk, that's telling the muscle that it needs to grow in response to movement. Um, but when we're just holding in place and using our abs to prevent movement, they're actually flattening as well as developing strength within our frame. So that means that we see abdominal tone um, without, you know, physical growth, which is a huge, huge thing. You know, most of the clients we train are women. Most of them want a flat stomach. You know, real and this really can be seen as the ticket. So when we look at a program summary, um, what we're asking you to do uh, with our program is number one, perform a daily 10 minute workout. Um, this workout can be performed at home. It's going to be scaled to your level. Um, for each exercise that we do, we, we provide you know different levels. But the beauty of this is that it is completely equipment free. Um, it really can be done at any time. So it, it can be done, you know, in, in Nome, Alaska or here in Lakeland, Florida. You know, there, there is no really distance is not a factor. You know, you don't have to go to into a gym. Um, I know for my busy moms, you know, this is going to be an important thing. So, you know, that's going to be a big part of the program. The next step is to follow our anti-inflammatory nutrition program, okay? And what I want to emphasize with this program, this is not a diet per se. Like, I'm not telling you to um, eat a certain number of calories. What I am going to tell you to do is simply cut out certain foods. Um, we're going to give you recipes. We're going to give you, um, you know, a list of food, a shopping list and all of that stuff. But simply by cutting out these foods, you're going to notice miraculous differences in energy, um, pain, you know, all of these things. And just the way that your stomach looks almost immediately because we're going to be eliminating things like bloating. Okay. And so that's going to be a big game changer. The next thing I'm going to, I'm going to ask you to do is simply send me measurements um, once a week or uh, or and a stomach selfie and the stomach selfie is optional you know that's what I prefer and the way it kind of works is that we have clients who are here in Lakeland with us I want you to come in once a week and let us do your your measurements and you know kind of uh, workshop things that's the best way to go however if you're not in Lakeland what you can always do is send us your measurements as well as you know that any questions that you have that way you know we can stay in contact and you can still do the program. Really, and the final one is to attend one or two core restore classes per week. And those are simply 60 minute classes that we perform here, uh, Gold's Gym South Lakeland, um, that we, you actually get coaching from myself and Christy Berry, who is my co pilot in this program. And really, that's uh, you know a bet the best way to go because you get feedback from us. You also get a little bit more stimulation for your abs, but that's an optional thing, kind of just based upon your ability to get there. I mean, certainly. You know, we want you coming and performing our program and all of those things, but I realize that you have a life and responsibilities and all of that. So that's an optional step. So let's look quickly at some steps to get ready for our program. All right. Number one, I want you to review our nutrition guide. Okay. That's going to be absolutely crucial. Um, in the week before the program, all right. I want you to know what you're getting into. Uh, we're pre-gaming here. I want you to know, you know, exactly what you're what you're expected of. You know how the diet works, or I'm sorry, how the program works. And then from there, what, the first thing we want to do um, for me when I'm creating a diet or I'm working with somebody to create a nutrition program, we want to lay out your meals. Okay. And the biggest error that I see with this is that people will try to eat different things every day, and that just makes prep 
you know, very, very difficult. So what I would, what I would advise doing is creating kind of like a day one and a day two, meaning like I have my meals and snacks for day one and I know that that's stuff that I like and I can stick with for about two to four weeks, you know, and then I have my day two and I just kind of like alternate between those two days. Um, that's going to make prep work a lot easier because that way I can just sit down on a Sunday prep and I know exactly what I'm doing. And so again, you could do this for maybe two week blocks. So you could have like kind of your like day one, day two, for the first two weeks, and then day one, day two for the second two weeks. But ultimately this is going to help us to really be successful because if you do start to plateau or you don't feel like you're seeing the progress that you should, we can look more critically at what you're doing and we can make changes. Okay. So that's one. Number two is that once you have your list and once you know what you want to eat from those things, then we create a shopping list based upon that stuff and we go shopping. Um, step one is really important because we want to know you know what you're doing so we can create a shopping list that is specific while we do provide you one in the program you know I'm not telling you exactly what to eat I'm just giving you the elements of what to eat so it's more of a generalized list of like these things are acceptable so to create a specific shopping list you know let's do your meal templates first and then finally we want to shop and prep before the program begins all right and I can almost guarantee you if your program starts on Monday and you do your shopping and prep on Monday, it's not going to work. Okay, so think, you know, looking over your stuff on Friday, doing your shopping maybe on a, like a Saturday and then prepping on Sunday. If you do it like that, you know, each thing takes maybe an hour um, or less. And so, it, again, it's not going to it's not going to be a huge, huge thing. We're not talking about um, hours and hours of an undertaking here, but it's just common sense and logistics. So really preparing on the front end, you know, a couple days to a week ahead is going to make a big difference as far as your outcome. Um, particularly in the first week of the program when you're not really that sure what exactly you do. Step two uh, is getting signed up for your daily workouts. All right? And for this, what we do is we provide you with an app called Trainerize. Trainerize is going to have videos and descriptions of exactly what to do on a daily basis. And what I want you to do is to sign up for an account and a password. Um, set aside and, and then you, well, what will happen is I'm sorry you're gonna get an email from Trainerize prompting you to sign up for an account and a password I also want you to download the app and then from there you'll be able to look over the program itself so what I recommend highly is that you watch the videos and become familiar with the basic moves and the basic levels just like you're doing this beforehand just like your nutrition from there think about when can I set aside my 10 minutes um, is it in the morning before work is it you know while my child is sleeping you know whatever it may be pick the time during the day when you can do it um, versus randomly just being like eh, yeah I'll just throw it in because it will take more than 10 minutes if you do that all right so really know when you're gonna do it um, have your equipment set aside just so you can move through this thing as quickly as you possibly can with efficiency um, you know setting up for success and again ju so just taking maybe 30 minutes uh, before the program begins to think about these things and to set aside your time you're gonna make a massive massive difference as far as the program goes step three is going to be getting accountable and for us what we do in our core restore program is we provide you um, with multiple accountability mechanisms basically we stand your butt the entire time to make sure you know that you have all the resources necessary to be successful so what we've done is we've created a Facebook group called the core Red Core Restore uh, 30 Day Live Well. Okay, and we'll we'll invite you to this group. It's a secret group on Facebook. All right, and this is something where you can always interact with your coach. Um, we post constantly, and this is something that you know is sort of a best practice. That way, you can communicate with us at all times. The next step is that you're going to be assigned a coach who's going to provide you daily support without the program. All right, and our coaches are really good at just texting you, seeing how you're doing, kind of like um, individualizing it a little bit more for you when necessary. And that way, you know, if you have an issue with like, oh, my back hurt during this move or whatever it may be, um, you could text your coach, you can message them on Facebook, and they'll keep up with you. And I, I will tell you, you know, if you sign up for the program and you go missing, meaning we don't hear from you for a week, your coach is going to be on you about that. And I think that the accountability aspect of what we do, it really sets us apart and is going to help you to be successful. The next step is to choose a time to do your weekly measurements. Um, and for us, if you're in Lakeland, uh, what we ask you to do is come in either before or after a core restore class. Um, either And those are on uh, Tuesday and Thursday uh, from 9 to 10 a.m. or 6 to 7 p.m. 
What you can also do if that's not available to you is you can come in after one of our group training classes, which is going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday from either 5 to 6 a.m., 5 to 6 p.m., or 6 to 7 p.m. Um, it might not be Christy or I that does your weighing in, but we all, or I'm sorry, your, your measurements, but we will, they, all of our coaches will log that. So just do that whenever you can. Now, if you're not able to make it in to weigh in during the week, I want you to email us your waist measurement, okay? And that'll be with the email that you get all of your information from with, for this program. Just reply to it and send that information um, along with a link to your nutrition log so I can check it. Um, the, and note that this is only an option um, for people out of town or people in extreme circumstances. Like if you come to me the first day of the program and you say, Chris, you know, I have this, I have a, new, a newborn, I can't make it into the gym. Like, I get it. That's fine. We're happy to do that for you. Send, feel free to send me your measurements. But if you're just like, oh, I just don't want to come in this week because I'm too busy, you know, that's not going to fly. So um, really, please figure out what is easiest for you, but, you know, work within that, work, work within that context. And finally, um, we do have an email list that I want you to sign up for because we will send you daily tips, um, nutrition. That's also how we're going to send you, you know, more stuff in the future for better use of our program. So we'll give you a link to sign up for that um, during our seminar. We'll email it to you. The next step is to understand our point system. All right. And this is something just to get you free stuff. All right. I want to incentivize you or basically bribe you to be successful with this program. And what that means is that you're going to get uh, three possible points for each week. All right. Now, and that's um, 12 possible points throughout our four week period. If you get nine out of 12 points, that's 75%, um, you're going to receive a Corey Store t shirt. Um, or some other prize it would give you for achieving this benchmark. Um, if you achieve, whoever achieves the most points over 30 days is going to receive a month of Corey Store classes for free. So that's a huge thing. Um, you know, we'd love for you to be in our classes and try it out. <laughs> but really, we just want you to be successful. And um, the things here, the things that you get a point for <coughs> are just best practices. So <clears throat> first and foremost, Attending our weekly measurement session um, or sending in your measurements. Um, and again, send with that stuff, send in questions that you have. I mean, one thing that our measurement session allows us to do is sit down with you for five to ten minutes and workshop things. You know, if you're having pain with an exercise or um, if you have a question that you need answered, like all of these things are going to be important because you can actually have a face to face with us. You know, email us the same thing. Um, you know, I could I could tell you that we personally look all of those over. Um, so, you know, that'll allow us to workshop things with you in that way as well. From there, we want you to keep a nutrition log on either uh, LoseIt or MyFitnessPal.com uh, five out of seven days per week. Uh, you know, if you write it down in a notebook, that's fine as well. But the key is that you're actually doing this stuff and we can see it. Um, one of the big things with nutrition is being mindful of your nutrition, meaning you're looking at it, you're kind of eyeing it, and you're seeing, okay, so I'm plateauing here, so maybe I take this out and I put this in. You know, we don't know that if we don't some, have some sort of a log to go off of. So that way, again, you can send us your log and we can give you our feedback on this looks good, this doesn't, or, you know, you could bring it into us. But what we want you to do, try to keep it five out of seven days per week in order to get a point. The, the final thing is um, we want you to check into your daily 10-minute workout, okay? And that's simply clicking a button that says that you did it, okay? That's going to allow us to see that you actually um, logged into the program you know, and use the workout. And again, we just want you to participate um, and really get the most out of our program. But as you can see here, you know, we're, we're giving you free stuff. And I think that, um, you know, you're going to be very successful if you really just do these three things. And finally, payments. And for a lot of you, you've already paid and, you know, you disregard this one. But the base cost for a program, $25. All right. That includes all of our program material um, along with one Corey store class to review movements in proper form. So come to any of our classes, you know, we'll coach you through a lot of our program and that way you can see um, how we breathe in the program, you know, how the, the best practices for the program. Uh, payments can also be, payments can either be made online at uh, restore your court on info you would click on the getting started tab or uh, via check made out to peak fitness. Um, as far as classes go, a single class is uh, $12. Okay. And so if you just want to drop in, um, that's kind of how it works. Uh, we also offer eight class packs for $10 a class, which is going to be $80 
or eight dollars a class, which is going to be um, ninety six for twelve. And the idea is, you know, if you're coming three days a week, you're basically paying ninety six dollars a month. If you're coming two days a week, you're paying eighty. Or, but but the beauty of it is, you can use those classes whenever you want. So let's say you just want want to come once a week, you can buy that and come for eight weeks once a week, um, or you can come whenever uh, you know you're able to do so. So I highly recommend uh, buying a package simply because you know you're going to save some money. Um, classes are going to be offered on Tuesday and Thursday from 9 to 10 a.m. and 6 to 7 p.m. And uh, you know, again, we just uh, we're really proud of our program. We want you to uh, we want you to give it a go. Um, thank you so much um, for choosing uh, Corey Store, and we really look forward to uh, su your success in this program. If you have any questions whatsoever, um, things that we didn't answer, or whatever it may be. Please feel free to email me um, at uh, you know at ckrelations at yahoo.com. You know, text our cell phone, call us, message me on Facebook, whatever it may be. I'm going to do whatever it takes to help you get through this program, and we look forward to your success with Corey Store.